I feel like we can all get behind him. He makes really interesting choices. Previously on In Defense of Bad Movies. He, it's interesting how he how he interacts with the queen, with Obi Wan. I want to feel that his storyline is sympathetic. Like in theory, he's stealing things to get money for research to cure his wife's Magruder disease. <laughs> <laughs> by the book standard are a very This is a global calling free take call from Jersey McGill and if they ask the most Hollywood correction to it. From my living room and from IDOBM Long Beach, it's in defense of bad movies. One bad movie told month by month. I'm Sam Bowen. I'd heard about this movie called Space Jam. It seems pretty polarizing. Some people think it's this really awesome mash up movie with basketball, space aliens, and Looney Tunes characters. But other people, and fair warning, this is going to get pretty graphic, think it's total shit. I'm ambivalent too. I'll look at one piece of evidence and think, wow, this is super fun and interesting. But then something else will come up, and I'll say to myself, it just doesn't fit. A successful movie would never do something like that. But then I'll go back and think, well, maybe this movie is entertaining because it doesn't do the things a typical movie would do. I just don't know. You know, I can't do it. I can't do it. I know Serial is this huge podcasting phenomenon and everything, but damn it, we're our own podcast. We're not going to be like Serial. This is In Defense of Bad Movies. Hey everyone, Sam here with another... In Defense of Bad Movies mini sewed. As you can tell from my little faux uh, serial intro, the next movie we're going to do is Space Jam. A crazy mashup of basketball, the Looney Tunes, and space. Oh, I, 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 I don't know what this was all. I guess this probably was in the post Roger Rabbit era, so they're like, everyone's all, hey, let's do cartoons mixed with live action. And this is what we got. We also got Cool World out of the bargain, so eh, I guess compared to that, Space Jam can't be that bad, right? Looking at the poster, this is I think this is interesting. Bugs Bunny is top billed over who personally I think is the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan, which is kind of nuts. I guess Bugs Bunny had done more movies at that point, so that gives him top billing. To me, it seems like they should have done one of those things where, like, you have somebody, the names are kind of like diagonal from each other. You have one person in the upper right and one person in the lower left. So it's one of those, it's it's kind of 50-50 about which one you see first. Like, if you watch Cheers in the opening, when it was Shelley Long, they'll do that with Ted Danson and Shelley Long. And anyway, it just it's, it's a way of kind of evening the play. Because you can't, okay, they, pay, they can't both be top build. But anyway, whatever. I'm going off on a diversion. This movie is has got a lowly 35% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is not great. However, it does have this strange cult following. Amongst those of us on Independence of Bad Movies, I'm not sure that anyone has seen it. I know I haven't seen it. And I don't think Laura and Lauren have seen it. Bobby, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But... Here's what's most exciting about this next episode. We will not be the only four people on our panel. We will have a special guest by the name of Jesse McCann. He's a friend of ours. He's a cartoonist. He's a, he's a funny guy. He, uh, uh, you've heard um, some of us mention the writing group we were in. He was the one who spearheaded that and runs that website. So he's a writer. Like I said, he's a funny guy. What I'm most excited about, though, is he and Laura have this uh, this adversarial relationship. Uh, worst case scenario, though, Laura likes the movie, so it won't come out. But I'm betting that it will. And these, t- I'm hoping these two get into it, because it's fun. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. That's our next episode. I'm, like I said, I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are, too. And we will see you in two weeks. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year, everybody!